And the customer had started doing this already. I think that's why some of these cables were already pulled out. <laughs> so he tried doing it on his own and he screwed up. And he didn't tell us about it. And that's going to happen. Customers are going to make big mistakes and they're not going to tell you. They're going to play dumb. Good morning and welcome back to the PC shop. You look bright eyed and bushy tailed and ready to get down to brass tacks and make it the money. So what is today? Friday the 5th. Oh, it's Friday. TGIF. Yes, we are, we are not open on the weekends, by the way. So let's get these computers out of here and we, uh, we can go. Watch your step now. Let's turn the lights on. Do not trip on one of those computers. I do not have insurance. And if you trip and fall and break your neck, it's your fault. And you can't sue. Actually, you do want to get insurance if you have a PC shop. You want to get errors and omissions insurance, at least in the United States. That's what it's called. And that way, if you mess up a computer and someone tries to sue you, your insurance company will pay for it up to whatever amount you have uh, you purchase. I think I had about a hundred thousand dollars or something like that maybe, maybe more it was only a few dollars a month it was definitely definitely worth it anywho what do we got here we got two computers that need fixing we have a woodward at treeguardians.com the pc is not turning on replace the motherboard okay and be a livingstone at be a livingstone wholesale.edu oh this is the guy that had the grammatical error in his email <laughs> <laughs> he wants an upgrade to four gigabytes of RAM, up to a whole four gigabytes, huh? Okay. And then we have our uh, manifest here, the shipment, new motherboard, and new RAM for these two jobs. Nice. Okay. Let's do the motherboard first. We haven't done a motherboard before. What the heck is that? Oh, there's something attached to this computer. Is that a cable? There's something sticking out of this thing. Holy cow. <laughs> we got a glitch here. What is going on? It says it's missing cables. Well, that's weird. Uh, this is the Woodward. PC not turning on the motherboard job. Let's check this one out. Hi there. Hope you can help. My computer stopped working the other day and that will not turn on at all. Please can you have a look for me? I think it might be the motherboard. If it needs a new one, I know it needs a Skylake socket motherboard. <laughs> if you know it needs a Skylake socket motherboard, if you even know what a Skylake socket motherboard is, then why do you need me to replace the motherboard? But again, this is just uh, this is how the game works. It wants us to uh, do these jobs gradually, and we're getting some guidance from the customer right now, giving us a clue as to what might be wrong. And my first guess here is that cable's sticking out. That is weird. Some kind of graphic artifact. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Uh, well, anyway, let's do the troubleshooting. Now, they're saying it's not turning on, right? Not turning on. That's not very specific. It's not very specific at all. So normally in a case like this, I would plug it in first and try to get some kind of clue as to what's happening like this right here. Look at this. Somebody unplugged the, the uh, hard drive <laughs> and didn't plug it back in. So let's plug it into the power and it's not even connected to the motherboard. That's the SATA cable. And what is this thing up here? That's a case cable. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I should leave the game and come back because that's not supposed to be sticking out like that. Some kind of graphic error. Yeah, hold on. Let me save it and come back and see if we can get this cable back where it belongs. It shouldn't really be sticking out like that. Hang on one sec. I'll be right back. Okay, all better. The cable's gone now. So let's get to fixing this thing. The customer says it's the motherboard. My guess is it's also the motherboard because the game is kind of introducing these new components and concepts to us gradually and holding our hand and doing so. Um, otherwise, I would say we need to do more troubleshooting. Like, this seems to me like it could be a power supply issue because there's nothing going on here at all. Nothing at all. And I would typically start with a power supply in this case. But since this is a motherboard removal, my guess is we need to start there. So, let's just do that. That is probably the only thing wrong with this computer. So, let's take all the components out that are actually plugged into the motherboard. Like the video card, and I gotta take all these cables out too. Don't forget that. There we go. And unplug these cables as well. And the customer had started doing this already. I think that's why some of these cables were already pulled out. <laughs> so he tried doing it on his own, and he screwed up. And he didn't tell us about it. And that's gonna happen. Customers are gonna make big mistakes, and they're not gonna tell you. They're gonna play dumb. Like, what? I didn't know anything about that. So just be prepared for that if you do 
actually have your own computer shop someday. And it's not like they do it deliberately. They just forget or they just don't know what they're doing, essentially. Whoops, I gotta grab that cable right there. Motherboard cable, and I think that's everything. All right, let's get in close and pull out the motherboard. Of course, we have to pull the screws out, obviously. And here it comes. Oh, it wants us to take, take the risers out, too. Which is weird, because it's the same motherboard that we're replacing it with, and the risers should work fine. But what the heck, we paid for them, we might as well put them in, and there you go. So now let's install that new MOBO right there. Same exact one. Put the new risers in. And you have to put the risers in, obviously, to keep the motherboard from making contact with the metal case. Which could be problematic. <laughs> And there it is. Perfect fit. Now let's screw it in. Be careful with these because if you tighten these too much, you could crack the motherboard. And that would be bad. You just want to make sure that they're in relatively tight and firm so that the motherboard doesn't rattle when the system vibrates, but not too tight so that you cause any damage to it. And I think that looks good. Motherboard is in. Let's get that CPU back. And there it is, right there, with a the little sticky note on it. Open up the shield. Plop it in, and let's not forget the thermal paste like Uncle Timmy. The guy that had the shot before us, right? Let's put the cooler on top of that. And hey, we're getting good at this. Look at us go now, huh? Um, we need the graphics card. It's a nice card. That's a pretty good card. It's a GTX 970 Gamer. Wow, everybody's a gamer. All of our customers are gamers. That's pretty cool. Let's put the memory back. We got two two gigabyte modules here. We gotta open up these little latches, and you want to press these in nice and straight and firm. Gotta open up these little tabs here, and you press them in, and those tabs will lock in automatically. And that looks good. Let's just do the cables, and we're good to go. This is the 24-pin power connector. We have an 8-pin power connector to the motherboard as well. This is the cooler connection, and we have the uh, hard drive, SATA cable, and there should be a case connection too. Let's slide over. There it is, down there. All right, that looks good. And we have to put all of our devices in, keyboard, mouse, video, and power. Now in my shop, I actually use a KVM switch, keyboard, video, mouse switch which allowed me to keep everything all plugged into that one device, and then that one device would go into the computer in a USB slot, and it just made things easier, obviously. But we can buy that uh, Auto Connect tool um, from our shop eventually. We just need $1,000, and I don't want to spend all of our money yet. But that is an investment we're going to make soon. Uh, I think we're done here. I think everything's good. Let's power it up. We didn't forget anything, did we? We'll find out. There it is. Omega OS. Music to our ears. And look at that beautiful background. Isn't that nice? And this desktop is pristine. I mean, there's nothing on it. That you, that never happens, trust me. Yeah, typically there's going to be a picture of like a, a grandchild or a pet and just a gazillion icons for programs all over the thing. And like Word docs and stuff. It's pretty hilarious. Where's that cable going? It's going right through the screen. All right, anyway, we're done here. Let's put the case on. Side panel. And let's get it out the door and collect our cash. We can just pick that right up, right? Boom. Yep. All right, put it by the door, and we can uh, check the email, and Woodward here can come and pick up that PC after they pay. Let's collect our cash right now. Right there, motherboard job. 400 bucks. I think the motherboard only costs us like 80 right? So that's a lot of profit. $320, according to my calculations. That's what I love about the service industry. Here we go. Leveled up. Leveled up to level 3, baby. Nice. And look at that. Word of mouth. What did I tell you? So people are talking about us all the way in the Netherlands and UK. <laughs> are we a US-based shop? I think so. Wow, these people are going to send their computers from across the pond? That's crazy. Anyway, before we get to that, let me just clean up my inbox here a little bit. These are old jobs. Let's get rid of that one. That's the one we just did. 
So our level up now introduces Ryzen quad core CPUs, AMD AM4 socket MOBOs, and Seagate Barracuda hard drives. Those are very good hard drives. Very, very nice. Now, I'm not even going to look at these yet. I don't want to get distracted with those new jobs. Let's get this one fixed up, and then we'll check the email. Now, this one, we're going to have to run 3D Mark on it, and while that's running, we can go check the email. Multitasking, right? Everybody wants 3D Mark on their systems these days. It's pretty funny, actually, because in the real world, nobody will ask you to run 3D Mark. Maybe, 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 maybe get one gaming customer that might want to check something. But in my seven years of doing this business, not a single customer ever asked me to run 3D Mark. But in this game, apparently you do it quite often because we're gamers. I mean, this, this, uh, this game is geared for gamers and marketed for gamers. And uh, those numbers make us, uh, make us giggle, right? They tickle our fancy. So that's why we do that here in the game. But in the real world, no one's really going to have you run that stuff. Anywho, let's do this upgrade. Should be easy peasy. First, we have to remove the whopping 2 gigabyte value supreme. And we bought for this feller a 4 gigabyte value supreme. Wow, big upgrade there. And check it out. He's got a pretty decent MSI GTX 960 gaming. Um, video card. Why would he only want four gigabytes of RAM is beyond me. Yeah, four gigabytes is not very good for uh, for gaming. Let's get those cables plugged in. And let's boot it up and run that 3D mark. See how fast she goes. And wait a second. What's going on here? This guy unplugged a bunch of stuff too. Look. Case fan to the motherboard. <laughs> Hard drive's not plugged in. That's a SATA cable. Power. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so he must have been in here doing some troubleshooting too. Trying to upgrade his system or something. I don't know. You just never know what customers are going to do. Believe me, they do the wackiest things. And they don't tell you about it either. They don't tell you. You have to be kind of a sleuth. You got to do a lot of investigation. And, you, and any, even interrogation, although it's not really interrogating. Um, but you just have to query people to find out what the heck was going on and what they did. Sometimes you get the truth, sometimes you have to find the truth yourself. Which in many cases can be a little bit embarrassing for them. It's probably why they don't come right out and tell you, right? It's like going to the uh, pharmacist and saying, Hey, I got a friend that has a wart in a funny place. Uh, he wants to know what he can do to fix it. Yeah, kind of like that. Anywho, we're good here. Oh, we didn't run the 3D mark. We're not good here. I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. We gotta get the USB drive in. I mean, I love to tell you guys the stories and stuff about customers, but I should focus on the job here so I don't mess anything up. We don't have insurance, and that's the problem. Not in this game, we don't. Can't afford insurance. Oh, look at that. We're up to 1725 bucks, though. We should probably buy that auto magical connect tool. That'll be nice. Let's get this thing running. There we go. We can back out, let it run on its own, and go multitask. Look at her purr. Sweet. All right, let's check the emails because we got a couple of new ones here, right? Let's start at the top. We got Blake Paderberg, 48 at moviemaniacs.co.uk, the United Kingdom. This computer is coming from all the way over. Wow. Need HDD space to prep for movie event of the decade. Hi, I'm Blake Paderberg, and I'm one of the core team over at Movie Maniacs, the world's number 53 website. In the UK for movie news and reviews. Never heard of it. Uh, all right, just get to the point here, pal. What do you want? What do you want from us? He does not have enough hard drive space. Okay, he's ripping movies onto his system. And uh, okay, and he needs a upgrade to his storage capacity. He needs another terabyte. So he knows exactly what he wants yet again. That's good. Um, so he must have 500 gigabytes in there now, right? Because he wants to bump up to 1.5. Why, dude? Just put like a 4 terabyte. Anyway, 240 bucks. Hard drives are cheap. Let's do it. And let's go buy it right now so I do not forget. Storage. 1 terabyte. We got to see. Oh, the new one. Seagate Barracuda. Nice and fast. 6 gigabytes per second transfer speed. Is that the only 1 terabyte we have? Yippers, yippers. All right, let's do it. 60 bucks. That's a bargain. Got to make plenty of profit on that one. And that's it. There we go. 
Let's go to the next one here. Rich at sailingmyboat.nl, the Netherlands. Upgrade so I can sail. Hello! I've been playing a great sailing simulation game, but while my computer will just about run it, but if I turn up the graphics, the frame rate drops. I use the program called Will It Run to see what I need, and it seems that my while my PC is okay for the minimum spec, the recommended spec needs a better GPU, a better graphics card. Can you have a look for me, please? Danke, Val. Is that how you say that? That's thank you, right? I think so. Richard. All right, Richard, we can do that. He's going to pay 490 bucks. So he needs a new video card, right? But we don't know... We don't know what video card he needs. We don't know what he has in there. We have to get something better. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until the system comes in. See what he's got. Run will it run. Which, I'm assuming is going to be on the system? I don't know. And then uh, determine what we need for this guy. And he's going to pay 490 bucks. Which, um, in the real world right now, with the cryptocurrency mining nonsense going on, people are buying up video cards like uh, like they're going out of style and the, the prices are very high because of it, supply and demand thing, you know what I'm saying? But in the game, I think um, I think they're pretty cheap. They're reasonable. So let's go ahead and accept that job. I'm sure we'll make some money. Whoa, what's this? Fit for purpose. This job requires you to use the Will It Run program that can be purchased from the shop. Install it on a PC to check what specs are required for the game and if that PC will run it. Well, wait a minute. This guy says he has it on the computer. All right, we have to make an investment here. Uh, will it run? It's in the shop. Under tools? Huh. Oh, there it is. 200 bucks? Holy smokes! Well, I already accepted the job. I mean, not that I wouldn't accept it and just buy the software anyway. But fortunately, it's not $1,000. That would be outrageous. But let's just go ahead and do it. I'm sure we're going to use this software again in the future on other computers, right? So it's something we'll have forever. It's an investment in the in the business, and uh, you got to spend money to make money. That's how it works. So now, hold on. Let's go back to the shop here and see. Well, let's not buy everything yet. Let's not buy everything yet because I think what we need to do is uh, we got to finish this job first. Let's check that score. Twenty-one forty-three looks good to me. Shut her down, and let's put that panel back on. Let's get this thing out of here. And as soon as Mia Livingstone picks this thing up, he's going to tell a bunch of people about us, and we're going to get more emails, most likely get some new jobs. We're way over here by the door, so Mia Livingstone doesn't have to travel too far. He's going to pick it up in about two seconds, and he's not going to come in and say hi. It makes me very sad. Here we go. Ready? 170 bucks. There it goes. Out the door. And, oh, look at this. We got new parts at Bits and Pieces. The Ryzen 3 uh, Quad Core 1300X and an MSI Radeon R7 370 Gaming 2 gigabyte. And sure enough, somebody talked about us and we have a new job. R. Scott at BuddyCola.uk, another UK job. My PC needs upgrading. I'm thinking I need to upgrade my PC. I'd like 4 gigabytes of RAM. Can you run 3D Mark to check it doesn't overheat? It might need a bit of a clean. Once again, we're running 3D Mark. Nobody's ever going to ask you to do that, except for the people in this game. Let's go ahead and do it. 175 for 4 gigabytes of RAM installation and a clean out the dust, which we do for free anyway. So, sure, let's do it. Let's buy him a nice 4 gigabyte module. I want to give him the super high scores because it makes it tickles our fancy. It tickles our fancy. What's the best one we can get? Probably one of the new ones that we just got, right? This one right here. Team Group Team. TGT. T-Force Dark. Silver 4 gig. 2400 megahertz. DDR4. And yeah. Yeah. It's a higher uh, higher frequency than the one down there. The cheapy, cheapy one. And it's only $10 more. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This guy's going to love it. Throw it in the cart. And how about if we buy the Auto Connect tool for 1000 Ooh, let's do it. Let's upgrade. $1,340. Not going to leave very much, but I don't care. Let's do next day delivery. We'll get all this on on Monday because we have nothing else to do. Right? We can't wait three to five days. I mean, what would we do on Monday and Tuesday? And potentially, we might not get that until Friday because it's working days. So let's do it. Got to spend money to make money. There we go. $555 left. 
in the bank. And we're good. We are good. There's nothing left here on the floor, so let's get out of here. 1.32 p.m. Let's go to the pub. I'll buy you a beer. Wait a minute. How old are you? <laughs> How about if I buy you a Shirley Temple? All right, Shirley Temples for everybody. Let's go. Uh, I wonder how much time we have left. Should we do another job? Maybe move on to Monday? We could do that. Um, let me check the time and see how long I've been playing. And uh, yeah, hang on one sec. Let me, let me check that right now. I'll be right back. Well, here's the deal. I've got about 20 minutes recorded right now. I'll probably cut a minute or two off. We're about 18-ish minutes. Uh, that's a pretty good episode. But let's do one more job. I'm feeling good about this. I mean, we only worked half a day today. So, good morning. It's Monday. <laughs> oh, I'm tripping over the stuff that just came in. All right, turn on that light. Crank up the system. Crank up the system. Power on computer to interact. I know. Where's the power button? <laughs> oh, you got to look at the computer down here. There we go. Okay. My bad. There we go. That boots so fast. I love this Omega. Oh, the music's already played. What am I doing? Anywho. All right. Let's go uh, grab the stuff. We have a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte hard drive and a Team Group Team T4 Stark Silver 4 gigabytes. Gigger. Gigabytes. Which one should we do? Not that one. How about... Oh, this one could be good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this because we, uh, we have to order a new um, video card for it. And this is something we haven't done before, and I'm curious what we have to do here. I want to run this um, this software. So let's, whoops, don't want to do that. Yeah, this one is not broken. We just have to run it, uh, start it up, and run that software. And I think we're probably going to have to install it, right? Turn it around. We got our new software on this tool, uh, on this USB tool, I hope. Do we get our new software here? Yes, there it is. Will it run? Will it run? Now, this guy said he had the Will It Run software, but he must have removed it. It was probably a bootleg copy, right? Didn't want me to see it. Because I could turn him in, be a whistleblower, make thousands and thousands of dollars. All right. Will It Run? Oh, look at this. There's a whole list of games. <laughs> this is cool. The Sail Away Sailing Simulator. Is this like a real game? I don't know. Anyway, it says, uh, let's see. That's the minimum spec. R9283G, that's what he has right now. And the recommended spec uh, is an NVIDIA GTX 980 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. All right, well, let's do that. Let's go buy a GeForce GTX 980. Okay, let's get that in the cart so I don't forget. GTX 980. That's something new that um, we can buy now, right? 1050s. 980 here it is right here 350 bucks that is not cheap that is not cheap at all wow all right well we're not going to make much money on this job unfortunately let's throw that in the cart we have enough to cover it at least <laughs> i think he was going to pay us what was it for this job 490 all right well we're going to make money on it so that's good better than losing money and now we just have to wait for that to come in so there we go. All right, power it down. Kill it. And let's get it off the bench. Put it back over here. We're not done with that one. And I guess, uh, should we do another one? We don't really have time. Um, well, let's see if we can do a hard drive upgrade. Man, I am never this spunky on a Monday. <laughs> Oops, get that out of there. Oh, this is one that opens in the back. This NZXT case. So let's go through the backside here. Take that off. And I got to go around this way. Pull out one of the drive bays and install the new HDD. One terabyte Seagate Barracuda. Whoa, hold on there. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I guess we got to do it down here. Open the drive bay and install on top. Okay, I just couldn't see it up there. So very good. Close it. And now we got to connect the cables to it. Got the power cable and the uh, power cable and the SATA cable, and that is it. Let's boot it up. Look at that, easy peasy. Gigabyte Mobo in there. Very very nice. No 3D mark on this. Wow, that's a first. <laughs> All right, we're done. 
We're done. Put that side panel back on. We got two of them actually in this one. Leave by the door. All right. That was easy. Like pressing the easy button. Put it way over here for pickup. All green. All green lights. Let's collect some cash. And we'll get paid for Monday for this episode anyway. And then we'll uh, come back here in the next episode and finish up the rest of the jobs because I think I am done for now. Where the heck is it? Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. There it is. Yeah, it's the movie guy. Movie guy, 240 bucks. Collect. Oh, we got new bits and pieces parts. MSI Radeon R7370 Gaming, 4 gigabytes. And a new, what's this, babes? Bathamore babes, huh? Oh, it's the same guy. <laughs> he picked up his computer all the way from the UK. And, uh, and now he's getting back to us really fast. You know what? I'm not going to read that right now. It's Monday. I'm taking a break. I'm going to take a break. Yeah, let's call it quits right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we shall see you in the next one. Let me know if you want to see more. Leave a like on the video and a comment and all that jazz, and we shall continue with the series. So there you go. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.